back to our channel. I'm Todd. And I'm his daughter Victoria. And today we're going to be making for you a really simple but really flavorful sauteed chicken with a citrus and ginger sauce. So good. Yes, it does sound as good as it is, doesn't it? <laughs> it is. Didn't you make, you created this like a long time ago. I did. I made it up when I think I was either 10 or 11. <laughs> <laughs> One of those times you were craving something with a lot of flavor. Oh, yeah. And Always. I said, let's just do this. So today I'm going to show you how I created that sauce. And it's really easy and you can make it at home for yourself. And I'm going to be a little sous chef today. You are. <laughs> All right, let's get going. So for making the sauce, I'm going to start off by dicing up the garlic here. Hmm. What are you doing, little buddy? Well, as you can tell, I guess my cooking skills have been <laughs> diminished to this little tiny cutting board. Well, we give you what your skill level. Maybe we'll graduate you to a bigger board later. You were demoted? Yes. Demoted. I was, I was demoted. You were. Well, oh. let's see if your skills get better. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up some onion. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you've been demoted. <laughs> let's try this that again. This is the funniest looking little onion. <laughs> no. Now, what kind is that? A Vidalia or is that a Valencia onion? Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. So while he's cutting up his onion, <laughs> otherwise like known as an orange. And lemon rings for the sauce. Thank you. So that's what I'll be <laughs> And you already washed those, right? Of course I did. Okay. So you do that. Get all this right. all set. We're going to be using some of this for the sauce and some of it for the actual sauteing of the chicken. That's why we have so much garlic here. So we just have that. And now we're going to work on the ginger while he's still slicing his onion <laughs> orange. <laughs> oh, Can you even believe the smell of the orange though? I can't. All right, so we're gonna use a good size nub or finger of this ginger here. And we're just gonna peel that. Would you like these whole rings or half rings? You know, I'll let you choose. Oh. I know. I feel so privileged. <laughs> Oh, like that? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Uh, actually, I would like you to do them decoratively. So can you do like a twist? No. Oh. I can't. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. But it's been a while since I've been able to cook with you. I know. That's why we need to polish your skills again. <laughs> we should really start, you know, by showing you what different fruits and vegetables are. <laughs> yes, this is the most beautiful onion ever. I know. We're really fortunate to have such beautiful produce. Actually, mm. I just picked this lemon off the tree. You did. Mm -hmm. You even battled the weather for that. Well, I waited till the rain stopped a little bit. Oh, well, that's just cheating. Mm -hmm. All right. So now I'm just going to cut this in half. And we'll do thin slices of this, and then we're going to go back in. And we just want this to be fine. I like a lot of ginger, but some people do not. It adds a nice spice to it, good flavor. Really yummy. Actually, I think we didn't really cook with much ginger before until you really started cooking. That was your thing, ginger. Yes, I do love ginger. And it's good for you, so. It is, it's good for your immune system. Maybe that's why we're never sick. That's true. That's very true. Probably shouldn't have said that. All right, Victoria, <laughs> what do you think of my lemon and oranges? You cut them in half? I <laughs> They look perfect. Okay, thank Good you. job, little buddy. Where's the lime? <laughs> Do you need <laughs> <laughs> yes. Actually, I do, but. All right, I'll get along. Uh, might need another bowl, too. Again, we're going to be using some of this ginger in the sauce, and we're going to be using some for sauteing with our chicken. So you can dice this as fine or leave it as big as you like. It's just your choice. I like getting little chunks of the caramelized ginger, but for those of you who do not like that, just dice it up really fine. Or you can even grate it into the sauce if you'd prefer to do that too. Okay. I'm back. <laughs> just can't seem to shake you, can we? I know. 
Maybe you should make up another errand. Ooh, I also need. <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch a chicken. Uh, you didn't do that already? Oh. I thought you feathered him. Okay, that's one thing I don't do. I know. So this one, where I'm doing it more of a fine, that's going to be going into the sauce itself. Okay, that's making me hungry, that ginger smell. Well, good, because you're going to have to eat this. All right, so that's all set. All right, so depending on how spicy you're going to want this, is depending on how much chili you do, and also if you take the seeds out. So we're just going to slice this. We're going to use two small chilies and put that right in the sauce. All right, so we're going to start making the sauce. We're going to put some olive oil in the pan to start. Because we're going to start by sauteing the ginger and the garlic. You didn't say anything about the oranges that I squeezed and the lemons. Well, we'll see them once we get them <laughs> in the pan. All right, so we're going to add the ginger here. Nice. You want a little spoon? No, thank you. <laughs> and we're going to add the garlic. And we're going to let that saute for just a minute. So it starts releasing those flavors, although you can already start smelling it, can't you? Mm -hmm. Or did you need to be closer to smell it? Smell good? Yeah, smell good. Good. All right, we're going to let that saute for just a minute, and then we'll show you the progress. As you can see, <laughs> I'm checking it out. It's sweating nicely, and the, it's starting to caramelize a little bit. So now what we're going to be doing is, what are we doing, Dad? Do you know? Just, I don't, you know, I have watched you make this I'm before. Just kidding. But. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding some cilantro. We have some nice dried cilantro. We're going to be adding that in here. If you have fresh cilantro, go for it. But unfortunately, we can't get fresh cilantro here easily. Okay. Now we're going to be adding two bouillon cubes. Doing vegetable bouillon. You want to peel the other one? I certainly can. Okay. And I just learned something interesting about the bouillon cubes here in Italy. What's that, little buddy? <laughs> that they don't have as much salt as the ones in the States do. They actually really don't have any salt. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna put those in. Yummy. Smells so good. Alright, just gonna turn down the heat a little. Perfect. So now what we're going to do, because you see how that really starts infusing the garlic and the ginger. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add our juice here. Actually, how uh, spicy do you want this? I like it spicy. All right, then hand me the chilies first. Oh, yeah. Can you put those right in? Okay. Good job. If you don't want it as spicy, don't put it in now because this will just kind of toast it and really release all of that spicy oil. Is your eyes running? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, then we need to add more. Okay, so now that we let that toast for just a minute, now you can add your orange juice and your lemon juice and your lime. You know, this took a while to juice all this. I know, you did such a good job. Thank I'll you. mention you in the credits. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank the juicing committee. <laughs> Would you like the slices now? No, thank you. Okay. <laughs> You're really proud of those slices, aren't you? I really am. Oh my goodness. Okay, but you know what I would like you to add? Uh-huh. The chili? Just a little. All right. You think you can handle that? I certainly can. All right, so you have a little bit of Thai chili paste. Again, if you don't like a lot of spice, just don't put that in. But we like it spicy. So we're going to let it's that... Spicy and sweet. Exactly. Because yeah. the oranges here are really, really sweet. And we confirmed that by tasting it. And they're beautifully <laughs> sweet. Okay. It's the most beautiful onion that I've ever seen. I know. <laughs> and it didn't even cheer you up. No, it didn't. I know. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to let this simply cook. So I'm going to turn the heat back up a little bit. Turn the heat up. Once it comes to a boil, we're just going to let this turn it down and let it simmer and reduce. 
And at that point, that's when we add the citrus rings that you did. All right, boss. All right. All right, so now we're gonna start by cleaning the chicken here. We're gonna get this all set up here. Here, we can't really get boneless chicken, so you probably won't have to do this process at home. But we'll just clean this, get the bones all out, and get this ready. Okay, so now that we have that all clean, so now we have our boneless breast for you, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do nice thin slices because we're gonna be sauteing this. So we're just gonna do nice thin slices here of the chicken. This will get nice and crisp. When we saute it, it'll be perfect. Meanwhile, our sauce is reducing nicely on a low simmer. Okay, so we have it all sliced. Like I said, I did it in thin slices because I like it to get crispy. You can also do it in one inch cubes if you prefer, whichever you like, there's no rhyme or reason. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply toss them in a little bit of flour. You could season this if you'd like, but there's no need or we're gonna be doing a really flavorful sauce with it. We just want these to get lightly coated in flour, and they'll toast up nicely when we saute them with the butter and olive oil. All right, so we put our pat of butter in there and a little bit of olive oil just for searing the chicken up, okay? Get that nicely distributed. Get that nice crispy coating on our chicken. All right, so now we're gonna put in a little bit of that garlic and ginger from before. Really flavor the chicken while we sear it here. Oh, it smells so good, doesn't it, Dad? All right, so now we're gonna start adding in the chicken. Now that we have the chicken in the pan, we're just gonna let it sear on one side, and then we'll flip it over once it gets golden. Oh, so good. What do you think, it smells good? It smells really good. No, you can't eat it yet. <laughs> I don't wanna get sick. <laughs> Nothing better than ginger and garlic. And I like it when it gets crispy like that too, and then it has the delicious thick sauce that goes in here. Mm-hmm. Which we actually finish in the pan in here with it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Once we finish getting all of the chicken sauteed nicely, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the chicken and then we're going to bring the sauce over and we'll show you how we finish the sauce. Alright, so we have that out of here. It's okay to leave the little niblets, that's fine. So Dad, if you can pour that right in for us. It's okay. going to sizzle. Beautiful. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this to a boil and then we're gonna thicken it with a little roux here. Oh, that smells so good. It does smell good. And I just wanna let everyone know that if anyone needs help cooking, that I can assist too. <laughs> in any way that You're I gonna can. offer your services? I'm gonna offer my services. Okay. I'm gonna offer my services. <laughs> Careful, someone might take you up on that. All right, so we're gonna let this come to a boil and then we'll show you how we thicken it. So now you can see it started to come to a boil. So what we're gonna do is I just took some flour and water. And just mix that in and we're just gonna, I'm gonna have you stir it up. Okay. You wanna have this moving while you're pouring it in. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> keep, no, keep going over here. Okay. You don't want to coat. Thank you. 
because you don't want this to clump and create lumps. So you need to keep it moving while you're pouring it in and while it's cooking, otherwise you'll get flour lumps. All right, so we're gonna let this thicken for just a second and we'll show you how it looks. Now we're gonna be putting the chicken back in. Have all that ginger and garlic, yum. And this is gonna finish cooking the chicken too because all we did was we seared it. So this is gonna just finish cooking it in here. Nice. And you know what we need, Dad? Oh, please tell me the wedges. <laughs> yes. We need your beautiful citrus slices. Should I count them or dip with them in? No, but we don't need too, too many at this point. All right. I'll put some lemon in there too. And do you want some lime as well? That would be lovely. Another thing you can add too, but we're not going to do it right now because we already have it in the sauce, is you can add the zest from the citrus too. But you'll get that same flavor once we have this cooking in there. So good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I think you need another lime then. Oh, I have that. All right, so we're gonna put this down. And this will only take about eh, five minutes and then we'll be ready to eat. Victoria, this looks amazing. It does, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. And I'm so glad that I was able to cut those wedges of citrus just perfectly. It I, really adds to it. I know. I must say, you really know how to cut a good wedge. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think we should try it? Yes, this is my favorite part. <laughs> you always are prepared, aren't you? I am. All right, let's see here. I want a piece with the chili. Did you get chili? No. But I think the sauce, I'll, I'll just try it like this. All right. Mmm. I just said, mmm. Guano. Guano, see. So good. Mm mm. Because you have the sweetness from the orange, the tanginess from the lemon and lime. Oh, you get a kick from the chilies. A little bit of kick from the chili. So perfect. Really, really, really good. Excellent. <sighs> Yum. And this sauce on its own goes beautifully with anything, even just over vegetables or rice. So you can up. do the concluding marks. I'm going to go eat this. <laughs> <laughs> it goes great over anything. So even if you just make the sauce separately, it's perfect. But this is a great meal. And I think your company and your family and friends would love it, right? Well, I know I'm going to love it. <laughs> we should probably conclude because I think you're going to run away with it. I'm going to. <laughs> so we're going to post the recipe for you down below. And also you'll notice a link to our Patreon sponsorship. We just want to mm -hmm. say thank you in advance. And we're going to be having some really fun videos and perks for you guys coming up soon as well. So don't forget to check that out. We're going to have some fun videos. We are. Oh, you, okay. you don't know about that yet? No, no, no. Well, it's going to be a surprise for you and for him. <laughs> <laughs> so stay tuned for that. So we're going to finish enjoying this. Hopefully I'll be able to get some too. And we'll say <laughs> ciao for now. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. ciao.